Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Some more updates for you tonight. Prince Harry is committed to put his wife and son first. March is rapidly coming to an end, and that marks the time when Mexit will be official. While fans around the world are disappointed that Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, are no longer going to be senior working royals, they are also delighted for them, given that they are finally able to embark upon the life that they have wanted for years. Change is never easy, and it has taken months for Meghan and Prince Harry to transition out of their royal roles. There is no doubt that it has not been easy for them, especially Prince Harry since royal life is all that he has ever known. Ever since the beginning of her relationship with Prince Harry, Meghan has taken extensive backlash by the British tabloids. After they got married, many people may have thought that things would get better, but instead, it was the exact opposite. The couple expressed their unhappiness with royal life, and shortly thereafter, made the shocking announcement that they would be resigning from their positions. Now that the end is almost here, a friend says that Prince Harry is committed to put his wife and son first. The Sussex family. It seems like only yesterday that Prince Harry was often seen tagging along with his older brother and sister-in-law, Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge. He was one of the most desired bachelors in the entire world, and some fans may have even gone so far to wonder if he would ever settle down. Royal fans are definitely familiar with how he and Meghan met. Neither of them looked back after that famous blind date. Almost overnight, Meghan and Prince Harry became one of the most watched couples in the world, and fans were ecstatic when they got married in May 2018. Shortly after, they welcomed their son Archie Harrison, and Prince Harry finally had the perfect family that he was always meant to have. However, the couple became overwhelmed with the pressure of being in the royal spotlight and decided that they would like to live a quiet, financially independent life. What did Prince Harry give up in order to step down from royal duties? Starting over is never simple, even for Prince Harry. While it is likely that he is a bit relieved that the next chapter of life is finally beginning, his exit from the royal family is a little emotional. Prince Harry has had to give up quite a few things in order to step down from his role, and life is going to be drastically different from now on. So, what is changing for Prince Harry and Meghan? Well, to start, they will no longer be able to use their titles of royal highnesses. Prince Harry will be relinquishing his military titles as well, which is probably one of the most difficult things for him since he served his country in the British Armed Forces for 10 years. Finalizing all of the details of Meg's it took months, and it didn't come without significant changes. Prince Harry is committed to put his wife and son first. One of the ways we can tell just how much Prince Harry loves Meghan is by observing what he is willing to do in order to support her and Archie. Which cites an anonymous source he is more than willing to put his wife and son first and do whatever it takes to be completely focused on his nuclear family. The source added that Prince Harry is obviously very devoted to Meghan. Part of the royal exit means Prince Harry will no longer have his honorary military positions. That's a huge loss for the prince, as he served in the army for a decade. That's ten years of his life that he gave to serve his country, and he basically has to give it away now, because he's choosing to protect his family. While many people might find it impossible to give up royal life, Prince Harry knows that doing so is the best thing right now. We think that it's absolutely wonderful to see how Meghan and Archie are the main focus of Prince Harry's life, and that he will do whatever it takes just for them. Another analysis. Meghan Markle's exit is a huge loss for the royal family. Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, recently wrapped up their final royal engagements and officially exit the royal family on March 31st, but will their absence be noticed? 
The couple has already moved to Canada with their son Archie to begin their life out of the spotlight. But one expert claims that Meghan's exit in particular will be a huge loss for the royal family. Exit a time of sadness. While Prince Harry and Meghan certainly need this exit in order to live a life away from the spotlight, one royal expert believes that the royal family may experience a loss with Meghan leaving. In speaking with LMT Channel, royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams touched on how this is a new chapter for Prince Harry and Meghan, but there's an adjustment for the royal family as well. As Mexit approaches, it is also a time of sadness, he explained. Harry and Meghan have an intense dislike of the press, but they should also remember the joy with which their engagement and then their marriage was greeted by both the people and the press in Britain and also around the Commonwealth. Why their exit is a loss for the royal family. Meghan, in particular, had a broad appeal with Fitzwillems sharing Meghan, a biracial American divorcee was a charitable activist who championed women's empowerment and equality and potentially had enormous appeal to the young. He continued, in the Commonwealth 60% are under 30 and the majority are persons of color who could now see the royal family as more representative both of a more diverse Britain and of the wider Commonwealth. Fitzwilliams further pointed to Meghan's strengths, including working activism and her appeal as a fashion icon. Her articulacy, evident in her speech on women's rights at the UN Women Conference and her activism, her opposition to sexism at the age of 11 became famous, as well as her status as a fashion icon, as an actress the red carpet was familiar to her. He added, all these things tended to indicate she would be an ideal partner for Harry, who is so keen to follow in Diana's footsteps. Meghan also showed that, unlike Prince Harry's other girlfriends, she was better suited for the royal life. She would also be the perfect partner as he coped with the pressures of royal life and also, as he has told us, with mental illness, Fitzwilliams noted. His former girlfriends couldn't cope with the pressure of the limelight, but we thought Meghan could. The Sussexes' next chapter, the royal expert notes, is a time for the nation to weigh what the couple have given up, but also what Britons have lost as well. As they achieve their independence, at a considerable cost, we might also reflect on what we've lost. In other news, more rumors about the adorable gift Queen Elizabeth is getting Archie for his first birthday. A royal insider has revealed what Queen Elizabeth will buy her great-grandson Archie Harrison for his first birthday. Her Majesty has a special gift for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's little tot. The Queen has set her sights on a beautiful rocking horse, a source revealed to us. A little one already has plenty to keep him occupied for hours, the source goes on say, Archie has tons of animal books and fluffy toys at home. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are rumored to have gone into isolation with Archie in Canada as the coronavirus pandemic continues. They are following the rules put forth by the World Health Organization, a source told us. And so on to other news and Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have shared a heartwarming message on Instagram in honor of Mother's Day in the United Kingdom. Taking to their Sussex Royal Instagram account on Sunday, the Duke and Duchess shared an emotional message to honor mums all over the world. Mummy, mum, mom, mama, granny, nan. Thank you, an accompanying caption stated. No matter what you call your mum, this Mother's Day in the UK, we honor the mums all over the world who do so much every single day and now more than ever. Enthusiastic fans were quick to take to Instagram to comment on the post, with one fan writing, Happy Mother's Day, Duchess Meghan and all the mums enjoying this post. Another person stated, Happy Mother's Day to you too. Sending love your way, along with a kiss emoji. A third person added, Happy Mother's Day to all those who celebrate it today. 
Harry and Meghan's tribute comes after Kate Middleton shared three delightful throwback snaps of herself and her family, along with a heartwarming message for Mother's Day. Taking to Instagram, the Duchess posted a carousel of images, which featured a previously unseen snap of Prince George and Princess Charlotte. To mothers new and old and families spending today together and apart, we are thinking of you all at this difficult time. Happy Mother's Day, Kate captioned the snaps. In the never-seen-before snap of George and Charlotte, the youngsters are being carried by their parents, Wills and Kate, in what appears to be a race during a family fun day. Kate wrapped up her touching Mother's Day tribute by sharing a gorgeous photo of a handmade card crafted by her eldest son, Prince George. So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell if you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.